Hello, I'm your host Adam Jump and this is Lion's Tale. This is episode 10, season 2. And I just wanted to give everyone a quick follow up in case you're new to the channel and uh, you're new to our YouTube, following us on YouTube, and if you have any new subscribers. Um, this is a show that features the good that the Lions International does and what the Lions Club Merrimack, New Hampshire, and how we serve our community. Uh, we do it through many different ways through charity events to raise money for um, childhood cancer, sight and hearing foundations, eye screenings at the middle schools, and many other great things we do throughout the community. Um, in my two years, um, I was nominated Lion of the Year, and I won the prize Chili Cook-Off of 2020. Um, so these are two uh, very special awards I am proud to say that I've earned since I've become a member of the Lions Club. And we're always looking for new members to join the club. So if you're interested, we'll talk about that later on in the episode and give out more information on how you can become a member and join the Lions in your community. Um, so again, I just want to thank everybody who's been tuning in and watching the TV show, watching us on YouTube, tuning in in the town of Merrimack. A big thank you for helping us grow this show and grow the channel on YouTube. Um, we've gone to almost 1,000 views in six months just on these 10 episodes alone. And once this is done and recorded, it's going to push us over 1,000 views. So the Lions Club of Merrimack thanks you for all your support. And Merrimack TV, a big thank you as well. Um, next, we're going to talk about the chili cook-off. Uh, chili cook-off ended about two weeks ago. Um, we're still collecting donations. Donations right now have reached up to about $200 last time we checked at the beginning of this past week. Um, so, big shout out to Mike Sills of the Bedford Lions Club who took home best chili with Skip's Super Bowl Chili. It's a phenomenal chili recipe that goes back about 50 years throughout the Super Bowls and it has enhanced in flavor and techniques every time. And this time was an award-winning chili to take home the best chili for the Lions Club category. So that's Mike Sills Chili Number 13 that you can find on the donation page. If you want his specific recipe or any other recipes that were uh, on that show, you can find them at the website below. Also, Brian Foster and his lamb chili took down the individual category. Now this one was chock full of six contestants and they all brought something different. A vegetarian chili, a white chicken chili. Um, so the lamb chili is what took it down. Brian Foster brought something different, some flavor that the chefs weren't expecting and it was something um, that he came up with in, in three days. Um, he put that recipe together and it took it home. So if you want to taste the lamb chili, look for Brian Foster's award-winning number three chili on the donation page. And that donation page, again, is in the description below, but you can go to www.e-clubhouse.org slash sites slash Amherst, New Hampshire. Now, again, that's off of the Amherst Lions Club page. We partnered up with them and did this project together. So thank you for all your hard work the members of the Amherst Lions Club, and thank you for everyone in the Merrimack Lions Club behind the scenes who helped put together such a great event, which was uh, one like no other, virtual chili cook-off, um, but it's all said and done. Uh, it can be done, and we will not be stopped. We are meant to serve, and that's something we're going to continue to do no matter how much we get tested in life. You know, I never stress enough that when adversity comes, that's when people like Lions men and women and people in the community come together and step up and serve at the right time when it's needed. So uh, shout out to all those uh, chili cook-off winners, Mike Sills and Brian Fosters. Check them out at the website. Um, next we're going to talk about a couple things we got coming up. We're very excited about our casino night at the Nashville River Casino April 1st through the 10th. All proceeds um, those nights will be donated to the Lions Club of Merrimack. Uh, those funds will then go back into the community and we'll use it for projects like we talked about with our sight and hearing and updating maybe some eye screening testing for the children so we can get more of them done. Um, many good things we do to that uh, with the funds that allow us to put together such great community events that you see throughout the town. So you can come down April 1st through the 10th um, and celebrate with us in um, the Lions Club of Merrimack 
anytime during those 10 days. And again, all proceeds will benefit the Lions Club. Also, celebrating the town of Merrimack's 275th birthday on April 2nd, this Friday. This Friday, we'll be there 7 to 12, 6 or 7, maybe 8 of us Lions Club members will be there. We'll have our own table. Come and meet us. Come say hello. Introduce yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you've seen us on this TV show, if you've seen us on the, the internet, on YouTube, come talk to us. Tell us what you thought. Uh, give us your opinion, your feedback. Are you interested in being a member? These are times, these are conversations we want to have. Uh, National River Casino is a great place. They host a nice sanitized environment. They have uh, great food. Um, so if you're just getting out there, you got your shots and you're feeling like you, you, you want to get out and uh, show a little support, throw a little money towards a good cause, we want to see you at the National River Casino. Again, come celebrate Merrimack's 275th birthday for all you tomahawks out there. Come down and see us uh, Friday, April 2nd from 7 to midnight. We'll be down there having a good time. And I think Melvin said he was going to show up there and also uh, put something on Black 22, he said. Also, we got our American Red Cross Blood Drive with Merrimack's Parks and Recreation at Wasserman Park at the Function Hall this Saturday, April 3rd from 10 to 3 p.m. Last time I checked just the other day, I think they had four slots left open. Um, so get on the Merrimack Park and Recreation website, see if they have any available slots open, and let's fill up those final four slots. And again, I think I set a goal of something of 45 pints this year. So let's crush it. Let's go get them. I know blood drives are going around the town. Um, so anyone who can come out and donate their time and some blood, greatly appreciated. And again, the Merrimack Lions Club thanks you on behalf of the American Red Cross um, at a time that blood is needed. And also, look out, Litter Crew is at it again. My man Brendan and Kimberly, um, they're out this year, 2021, off to a great start. They just cleaned up uh, Wasserman Park, walked around there, cleaned up trash last weekend. And this weekend, uh, April 4th at 10 a.m., we'll be joining them cleaning up Watson Park right down the road here. We're going to spruce it up. We're going to rake it up. We're going to clean it up. And we're going to do it together. And we want to support them. We want to support them for two reasons. One, because a cleaner Merrimack is a happier Merrimack is a healthier Merrimack. And we want to take place in that. And the Lions Club always wants a paw on something good when it comes to that. And also, they're a great young group of individuals who are inspired to serve the community and do good. They put community before themselves, and that's something I personally respect. So I'm going to be there cleaning up alongside the litter crew this Sunday, April 4th at 10 a.m. I hope to see you down there as well. Let them know that Jump Town sent you. All right. So next I want to talk about a little bit of Dr. Green Claw's growing tips. Um, this is something new. It's springtime. Like I said, I like to grow, and so does Melvin. So these are Melvin's Dr. Green Claw's growing tips. And Melvin said that you should start by growing some herbs. Uh, this is a great time to get some herbs like rosemary, chives, maybe some parsley, or even some basil. Whatever herb you like to use most in the kitchen, start it off nice and small on a windowsill. You know, these months where it's still a little cold at night and you want to leave it outdoors. Putting it on the windowsill, facing the sun, get some nice sunlight for at least six to eight hours. And you'll start there with the herbs and then they'll be ready to go out, maybe onto your deck, your patio, out in your backyard. Um, so that's uh, Dr. Greenclaw's growing tip is to start small, start with some herbs and start with your favorite herbs. And um, let them sit on the windowsill, need little attention, a little water. If it starts to look dry, we're just going to add a little bit of that H2O. So thank you, Dr. Greenclaw, for your growing tip. And tune in more, because uh, he's got a lot more fun tips he's going to share with, uh, with us throughout the rest of the spring and summer season. So I want to talk about looking out what's coming up. Uh, Merrimack Lions Club, um, dealing with the coronavirus, we were unfortunately told we couldn't do certain events like our spring carnival. 
Uh, Spring Carnival is something that the Lions Club has done at the Common Plaza for many years. And because of COVID, we couldn't get the correct permits to have people come down and operate the uh, machinery it took to put up the rides in games. Um, but we are happy to say that permits have been approved and the carnival is coming. There is no set date yet. It could be late spring. It could be early summer. It could be fall. But we just want to make sure we have a nice, healthy, safe environment to have a great time with family and friends to get out there and enjoy the Merrimack community. So look out for the Lions Club Carnival coming sometime later this year. Um, also, July 27th, the last Monday in July. That's the scheduled date right now for our annual golf tournament. I believe this is going to be the 19th annual Lions Club Charity Golf Tournament. So mark your calendar now. Tell your boss you're going to need your day off. Use your sick time. I don't want to hear the excuse this time around. Giving you plenty of notice. July 27th, I want to see you there with your title list, with the club in hand, and maybe a foursome or two. You know, that'd be great. The more the merrier. Um, and also, we got some new ideas. I don't know what you think, but tell me what, how you feel. Leave a comment below. Let me know if these sound like some fun ideas. Summer Fun Day Sensory Sundays. So we're going to have some games that involve the sight, the hearing, the touch. Um, because like I said, Lions Club International um, bases their sight and hearing foundation off of um, Helen and Keller. It goes back um, to serving the need of some blind people. And I feel as though we can do more fun activities that involve our senses and our hearing. Maybe pin the tail on the lion like we've done before at Movie in the Park Nights. Maybe some blind cornhole toss for some prizes. Maybe a blind putt-putt, 50 foot blind putt course. Maybe we're gonna have some balloon toss. Um, maybe there'll be a blindfolded maze, hay maze. Fun little activities just to get the family involved and get people involved with their senses. You know, get them out of the house now. They're hearing, they're seeing, they're smelling, all these types of different things that maybe they haven't seen in a year or two. So let's enhance those senses. And let's do it with the support of the Lions Club. I think it sounds like a great idea. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, also, I was thinking of those blind food taste testing. So, for example, we have a course meal set out and you eat it blindfolded, not knowing exactly what you're eating, but you're tasting, you're feeling, you're using your senses, you're using your smells. And then at the end, maybe you, we write and try to guess what we ate and see if we can guess the exact um, course that was displayed out before us, even though we were blindfolded, you know. I think um, that's one way that uh, the adults could have a little fun. And speaking about the adults having fun, what about a blind painting and wine night? Now picture this, all right, we're having a little wine, we're painting, we're having a good time, we're blindfolded, got some music in the background, an hour goes by, boom, we stop. Whatever's on the canvas, that's the work of art. You know, then we're going to put that display, that canvas, that artwork on auction. And we're going to put that and all proceeds will benefit one of the charities that support the Lions Club. I think that's another great idea for us to get involved with our senses, to support something the Lions Club has uh, so much um, passion for. Um, so these are things we've got coming up that we're very excited to share with um, everyone involved in the town of Merrimack and the surrounding communities in our district. So look out for some of these fun activities coming your way soon. And finally, I just want to talk about new membership again. I think it's very important that if you want to serve your community, especially coming off the times of COVID and when people are getting out there and um, they, they need to be reintroduced to to themselves, to the community, to people. There's no better way than getting out there and being involved directly in the community. And one way is by joining the Lions Club. Um, they're always involved, uh, whether it comes to park and recreation, outdoor activities, indoor activities, churches, 4th of July parades. The Lions Club got a par on everything. And if that's something you want to get more involved in, um, again, contact me, sign up. Um, you can find out um, more on our Facebook page. Uh, you can find us at um, Facebook is uh, Merrimack Lions Club NH. And also you can find out 
me directly more information at my YouTube page, Jumptown. Uh, you can reach out to me there with any questions, especially if you're watching this and you're not in the, the town of Merrimack. You're not even in the state of New Hampshire. But for some reason, you came across this one late night on YouTube, and I came across your feed, and you're like, man, what's this guy talking about? I like what he's talking about. Is there a Lions Club in my town, in my area? Go out there and find them. Go at least have a conversation. You know, I challenge you. Um, remember, making a difference and being the change. That's what we do as Lions. We serve. Um, so again, I want to say thank you to everybody who supports this show, who supports my channel, um, who supports the town of Merrimack, who's always going out there and doing their part in the community. Thank you. Because um, we can't do it without each other. And especially right now, we need one another. So as always, we're going to close out the show. We're not above you. We're not beneath you. But we're with you. Until next time, thank you.